Hello, just thought I would show you some of my farming guides here. The first one gives you 695 XP and 708 coins. That is if you pop the balloon uh, of wealth, though, so you can get this. This one is the first one early game. It's really uh, the biggest killing spree. Uh, they do about uh, 20 enemies. They don't normally do a lot of uh, XP for you, but uh, they all gather up in the beginning so you can uh, level up really quickly and uh, get all the skills in you want. Uh, so first one you just run up to do is uh, do these uh, guys here first and then you can jump down here or whatever you do and do the next guy so there's uh, really no they really go down in a few hits there's really no problem with those at all just give them a few wax and then you will be rid of them really quickly normally so and uh, the balloon will normally last all uh, the entire round of this there's not a guy behind here that you can just uh, don't forget him so he don't get away but the point is the, the balloon I really recommend that because uh, this one I used a lot in the beginning to get a lot of uh, coins so you can uh, upgrade a lot of stuff, prosthetics and stuff that you want and XP as well. Because uh, like I said uh, the entire run is like 3 minutes or something like that and you will uh, get quite a good amount of gold and uh, the balloon will last all run if you're really quick. So just backstab this one guy and you can sneak up on the two guys that uh, were situated where you pick up one of those uh, Upgrades, just backstab this guy, he's the hardest of them if you have any trouble with them. And uh, you just keep on your journey to get these uh, 20 people uh, really nice so you can have all the XP and uh, coins you need. Uh, yeah, I would backstab the guy on the right because I said he gives a little bit more XP, just 37 instead of 34, but at least he can be a bit hassle if you don't want to spend a lot of time. Only thing you really need is the axe a prosthetic tool, and you will get that in this map, so there's uh, really no problem to. Handle those two last guys here, just uh, hit them with the tool and you can get them uh, away no problem. This one uh, is uh, Hirata State, uh, you get it quite early and the uh, outskirts you uh, will get the bell so you can get her. So this is uh, really early game farming and uh, this one I use quite a bit to get uh, everything I need. So. You see I still have the balloon available and still will get more gold and what I do for final I just go down backstab this guy and trigger two more guys so we can get them to go up. You don't want to stand there because there's an archer on top of the building. So just these two are the final two guys before I restart and do it all over again. You see balloon is still active so it's a good way to get, to get some gold and XP in the early game. So all you need is uh, the bell you get from the woman who thinks you're a her son in the beginning and this, then you come to this Hirata estate. It's a real good place and really necessary to get some tools. And then you just use the homeward idle and uh, restart this farm. So this is the very first farm that I used quite extensively if you want to level up quickly and get some uh, good skills early on. As you see uh, I will show you the spawn now next is uh, one of the early ones there is the Hirata estate. So this one is very good for early. Next one is uh, one I like a lot, it's the gun fort, and uh, the only thing really acquired here is the blood smoke ninjutsu, you can do it without, but I would prefer to have it, and you probably should have it by this far. This one will yield uh, 1090 XP and uh, 203 gold, so the very first thing you do is just sneak up on the, this gunner guy here, and then you just uh, do the blood smoke ninjutsu, because when you trigger this one, the other guys don't, want, don't see you, and you just do a little step into the cave and wait come back up and you wait till this uh, yellow alert goes away and then you can go back and backstab him as well so if you don't have a blood smoke you have to kind of run away and uh, run far away and get them to untrigger and stuff like that but if you use the blood smoke in gesture this is really quick and really easy see there is already lost his focus you can backstab him and then you just grapple up and do the other guy all these big gunners they do like 297 XP so it's pretty good in the, this part of the game that you are, you can give a solid amount of XP and some gold at least. And there's a little uh, feeble old lady down here, she doesn't give you much but you might as well back so run away and uh, around the corner on the right here is our final final victim, a lot of these gunners and you'd probably be happy to kill these because they are really annoying when you first meet them. This, uh, big chunky guys and uh, that's it for this one uh, the gun fort so this one is also good right next to to the spawn and uh, like I said uh, what you really want to use is this one blood smoke inducer because that will help you a lot and I also use it for some other farming routes later on now we have the the lone ninja guy here 784 XP and 84 coins but he's uh, just one guy so it's real quick just keep to the left always and you have to get to the left so you get into this alcove because if you don't hug the wall to the left and don't get into the alcove he will be really attentive and uh, 
start to look at you at once. And he can drop some lump wax as well, but uh, he is really good for the speed of it. So this is a really good position as well if you just want to do let's see Ashina depths and you have the Mibu village. It's just round down there, so you could do them over and over again for kind of quick rewards. And uh, the next one that is also requiring uh, a bell, you will get to the alternative uh, version of uh, Hirata State, and this is the main hall. This is uh, the second time you're here, so you need to progress the story and get the second bell to get to this version of it. But uh, the main hall here is really good, I use this uh, really a lot, you get 2580. 1 XP and uh, you will not get that many coins, there's only 72 because the big fat ones they don't, they just give you uh, stuff for your upgrades but that's that's no problem, you should have no problem getting money. So just backstab that guy first and you wait for this one, big chunky one and for some reason this one gives uh, more XP than the others, I don't really understand because he has to club the other guy as well but uh, this big one gives you 775 XP and uh, you see you get some uh, materials as well. Normally you don't get gold, scrap iron and stuff like that so they are good for upgrading. Here you just wait for him, uh, the big guy. It takes a little while before him to come up to you and then you, when he turns away you just go and backstab him. Uh, he might not always do this, he, this is normally the way it goes but they might be stuck somewhere and that's where the blood smoke ninjutsu come in and of course if he's stuck next to the other guys you just sneak up on one of those guys and you pop the blood smoke and then the others don't see you and you get to do them all but this is the normal route so just backstab him the other guys they won't see you and notice you and then you just do the big guy with a shield and do the other archer and then uh, you just rinse and repeat so you see you get scrap iron there again you get some balloons and stuff like this so this one uh, I use extensively to, to get uh, skills and uh, to trade the skill points for attack power or whatever. The most scrap iron. The very last one, that is very late game though, but this is the underbridge. Uh, uh, no, it's the outskirts of the Ashina, and that is uh, when you're finally uh, with the invasion and everything. That's 3972 XP, and you get uh, 554 gold. And this is really good because you get a uh, chance to get the uh, Fulminator Mercury that you need to upgrade uh, your last uh, prost prosthetics and that kind of stuff. But uh, you just uh, grapple up to the tower, jump down to uh, the grass and do the other one and then you do this one and they will all uh, give 762 XP except for this big gunner guy, he will give uh, 1324. And uh, this is really, really quick, and you, like I said, you get 3,972 XP and 554 gold, and you have a big chance of getting some, uh, not big chance, but you, at least you will get some Fulminator Mercury that you will need later on. Now we'll just show a few quick ones that will yield about 1,000 uh, XP and uh, some gold. The first one is uh, in the Fountainhead Palace, and you just go to the Feeding Grounds, if you are following that quest. And then uh, right over the bridge there's one of these uh, annoying uh, lightning wielding enemies and uh, it will yield you 1060 XP and 130 coins. So all you have to do is jump over here and just run up to her before she gets up and you can backstab her for easily getting your XP as well. So this is really quick if you don't want to do all the other one. And they also yield some uh, upgrade for the prosthetics like adamant scrap you see there and stuff like this. So this is the first one of uh, all three that will just be quickly. And the other one they yield the same, 1060 XP and 130 coin. This is in the, is in the sanctuary, uh, same place, uh, Fountainhead Palace, right before you fight the dragon. This is uh, the sanctuary spot, and all you do here is the same uh, enemy. And uh, you just, uh, when you have this spawn, you just turn around and uh, you go back down, and there will be one uh, isolated enemy that you could pick off easily. You could probably do some jump attack as well but you really not need it. I just down to the left here, jump down and keep attacking because she will be stuck so you can just immediately finish her posture really easy so she will not retaliate at all. So this is yields the same uh, 1060 XP and 130 gold. And then you just go back up and do the same again. So this is really quick if you wanted to have some quick. The two guys on the left I really don't want to bother with because when you get those going and they start chaining light attacks and stuff it can detract from the time you take. The final one is after the invasion, uh, you have uh, the antechamber at the Ashina castle, and that is uh, 1052 and a bit less gold, 116 gold, but this is a ninja so standing here, so you can really finish off and uh, if you want to do this really next to, 
to the spot. So I really hope you can uh, level up and have some fun and beat this game because it's pretty awesome. So have fun.